Good evening po sa lahat po na ating mga ka-parents. So, this is the part 2 of our lesson in Mathematics 4. Lesson content that we have in this uh, module 2 or lesson 2 in math is all about estimation. So, you are going to learn on how to estimate the products of two of 3 to 4 digits number. So, do you know what is an estimation is? Estimation is a rough calculation. It may be more or less of the actual answer. So, that is the meaning of estimation. It gives us a rough calculation. So, the first thing that we should do uh, before uh, we, we are going to discuss about estimation, let us check uh, the things that we have learned in the previous lesson. In to our previous lesson, we learned on how to round up and round down uh, numbers according to the place value. We learned that if we round a number according to the place value and if it is followed by 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, we are going to round down the number. And if it is followed by 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, it should be round up. What we have on the board is just a recap to our previous lesson. So, I have here an example. I write uh, 763. So, I want you to round it to the nearest 100. So, I will. how will you round 763 to the nearest 100? It should be a round down or round up. So, this is the ones, tens, and hundreds. So, uh, we will... Uh, Round it to the nearest hundreds. So as you can see, the numbers that comes before seven is six. So what do you think? To, what do you think? Uh, it should be round down or round up. So since nandito siya, we are going to round up. So seven hundred sixty-three uh, rounding to the nearest hundred ay magiging eight hundred. What if, if we uh, round it to the nearest uh, tens? So this is the ones and this is the tens. So I will round it to the nearest tens. So ano ba yung number that comes uh, before six? Meron tayong number three. So it should be round down. So six, 63 should become 60 when we round it to the nearest tens. So, ganun lang po kadali ang pag-round pag off ng mga numbers. So, pwede lang siyang round down or round up. It depends ko ano ang number na nandoon sa pinapa-round off nila na value. I think we are all ready in answering our first activity by rounding the following numbers to the highest place value. Nasaan ba yung mga highest place value? Ito sila yung mga naka-underline. So, ira-round off natin sila. All you have to do is to look the numbers that comes before the number na ira-round off natin. So, let's, let us do the uh, number 1. So, round this magiging 6,000 dahil dun sa uh, number that comes between uh, that comes before 5 I think you can do it on your own na kung paano i-round off yung mga natitira pang mga numbers magdigano lang kadali ka, at kasimpleng mag-round off ng mga numbers So, let us now proceed to our proper lesson, which is about estimating the product, the multiplicand, and the multiplier. Before we can proceed to our proper lesson, let us first identify the parts of the multiplication. So, yun na sa taas, uh, yun yung tinatawag natin na multiplicand, and yun na sa baba, yun yung tinatawag natin na multiplier. 
So, kung ano magiging sagot natin, that is uh, what we call product. The first step that we should do is to round up the multiplicand uh, and the multiplier. So, paano natin siya i-round up? I-round up. So, yung 3,255 magiging 3,000 na lang. And 275, pag di-round off natin siya, is magiging 300. So, ganun kasimple ang pag um, round off ng numbers. Step 2 that we should follow to get the estimated product of the given numbers all we have to do is to multiply the rounded numbers. So, we're going to multiply the rounded numbers. So, after we uh, multiply the rounded numbers, ang magiging product na makukuha natin is 900,000. So, 900,000 is the estimated product of this uh, round, round of, rounded numbers. So, ipakita natin ngayon using the long method kung 900,000 nga ba talaga ang estimated sa, uh, estimated product nitong mga uh, given numbers dito. So, long uh, method ang gagamitin natin. So, after we uh, multiply these numbers, this is the final product that we get. So, 895,125 is close to 900,000, which is the estimated product. So, ganun po yung pagkocompare ng mga estimated product. Ito yung long method and this is the uh, short method using the rounded numbers. Take a look at this figure po. So, kung mapapansin po natin, um, mahaba po yung process uh, bago tayo o bago natin nakuha yung estimated product. So, now I will teach you the shorter way of multiplying with terminal zeros. So, papaiksiin po natin itong mahabang process na to to get the estimated product. And this is the short method in finding the estimated product of the given numbers. All we have to do is to count the numbers of 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So how many zeros that we have? So all we have, all you have to do is to write down the numbers of 0. So meron tayong 5 the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. After counting and writing down the numbers of zeros in the factor that we have, all we have to do now is to multiply 3 times 3. So the answer is 9. So 900,000 na nakuha natin using the short method and the long method are the same. So these are the other examples in estimating uh, the multiply the multiplicand, multiplier and the product. So you can use this as your reference. I think we are all ready to do the activity 1. So let us do all together the number one. So, all we have to do is to round the multiplicand. So, magiging, ano siya? Four thousand and the twenty-nine magiging thirty. So, ganun lang siya kasimple, kadali. And now, you can do the other uh, given uh, problem. You can do the 2, 3, 4, and 5. Ira-round off lang sila. 
we can now also proceed uh, answering the activity 2. Ito siya. Meron na rin siyang sample. Madali lang siya. Basta alam mo mag-round off o mag-round down. Let's try to answer uh, the number 1. So, 354, round up natin siya, magiging 400 times 29, i-round up din natin siya, so magiging 30. And the estimated sa a product is 12,000. So, gawin na namin ito using the short method so that we can uh, get the estimated product of the given number. So, marami na tayong pattern to do the activity 2. You can also do the activity 3. Meron na rin siya na example na ating susundan. At kanina dun sa discussion natin, pinakita rin natin on how to uh, uh, multiply the given factors using the long method and the short method. <coughs> you can do it on your own now. You may now also proceed in answering the letter B. All you have to do is to multiply the given factor. After multiplying it, round off ninyo sila. And then, kung saan ang round off natin, kung saan sila malapit, uh, pipili tayo dito ng uh, sagot. Merong word na mabubuo dyan. So, in letter C, uh, just uh, estimate the product but before that uh, we're going to round this number and then so yung tinuro natin kanina bilangin na lang natin 0 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3 and 4 3 times 3 is 9 so estimated product is 90,000 so Choose your answer here kung saan ang uh, estimated sum. Uh, estimated product, I mean. So, i-round off muna natin ang mga numbers na to. Para makuha natin, matukoy natin kung ano ang sagot dito sa loob ng box. On what I can do, ito ang gagawin nyo. Just read the instruction. So, kapag uh, hindi tama, uh, you should write down the correct answer. So, magmamanual kayong mag, uh, magmamanual kayo na mag-calculate ng mga estimated product. And on the assessment activity, just um, multiply the given factor after getting the final product. All you have to do is to estimate it. Uh, estimate, magra-round off kayo to the highest place value. So, meron tayo itong 2,771,590. Papaano natin siya i-round off para makuha natin yung estimated product. And the estimated uh, product is 3 million. And you can also proceed answering the additional activities. So, madali na lang siya. Just uh, read the situation carefully at ma-answer natin siya ng madali at tama. So, that's the end of our lesson in math. Uh, madali lang siya kung makikinig at uunawain mabuti ang bawat uh, lesson na nandito sa ating module. So, sa lahat po ng mga ka-parents at sa lahat po ng mga anak natin, happy learning po sa ating lahat. Sana, 
um, makatulong po muli ang video na ito sa uh, pag-a-answer ng ating mga anak para sa kanilang module sa mat Mathematics 4.